Good day, friends, and welcome to episode 16 of the second season of the Evil Empire. I'm Icon, and the space battle has subsided. There's a lot of people outside there on the floor, and I'm not even making the... Uh, I'm not even up for the effort of uh, saving them. Why? Because we are now at the point where Alpha 1 doesn't need, really need more human resources. We just uh, get rid of them later. Between that, uh, a few um, of the parts of the, in the base have been uh, damaged, but uh, mostly everything just uh, just was quite fine. I'm very relieved that uh, nobody got uh, killed or uh, stuff like that happened. So um, yeah, just uh, just a big influx of uh, extra components and uh, steel. So. Um, yeah, come on, that rubber person. This guy is uh, transhumanist and a psychopath, so... You're lucky. You got lucky. Yeah, and we uh, we got a big bad ship chunk in the... Uh, in the uh, in the rec room, so... <laughs> We're going to replace those uh, things, I'd say. So, recreation, um, let's see, what kind of materials uh, do I have available? Let's make, let's make some, uh, slate items. Oh, I don't have enough, uh, cloth. Animal needs rescue. So, um, well, Rio, you are starving. How about eating? Um, yeah, so, uh, we need cloth, but a uh, good thing that cloth is just, uh, growing here. Okay, so, uh, needs a chest table, too. So, um, well, let's make this, uh, chest table out of, uh, Econite. That stuff is pleasantly green. Oh, we got rose petals, beer, wood. Wood is nice. Wood is really nice. So, um, ambrosia binge on sweet pea. Yeah, you do you. Okay, um, the stools will be made out of um, rose. Or, you know what? We're going to make armchairs. Come on. Beautiful armchairs. Um, but, uh, well, maybe not. Not beautiful armchairs. Um, they wouldn't be that beautiful after all. Uh, let's check it out. Square chair. Yeah, that's exactly what we want to do. And, uh, well, they're going to be made out of steel here. Oops. And a poker table, of course. Okay. Put down a few chairs. There we go. It's gonna be a big project, but uh, little do I care. Okay, so uh, Lumpy. Good old Lumpy. You bored? It's just uh, Lumpy is uh, one walking incapability, you know. can't do that much, uh, I can't produce that much art. I really need to reconstruct uh, my statue there. Honestly, I didn't notice it until somebody pointed it out in the comments. Shame on me. I really didn't realize it. <laughs> but, well. The next statue is already uh, in the works, so. Oh. Time to slaughter a few rats again. Okay, but, uh, well, what about my scanning plans, though? Oh, yeah, so, uh, my, my deep drill, oh, my deep drill didn't, uh, get killed there. Okay, so, uh, Lumpy is busy with those rats, okay. Yeah, they're just, uh, rebuilding things here. That's fine. 
My most, uh, the, the most uh, scary thing for me was uh, just uh, the the possibility of people getting squished here or uh, something destroying my Persona core, which is down at 50%. Um, yeah, maybe I should store that thing somewhere else, but uh, well, ultimately the uh, best idea would have been to just grab it and uh, not uh, allow anybody to haul it away. Or uh, put it down somewhere and uh, just leave it there. Whatever. Um, here. Um, the orbital trait beacons. There should be one here too. Why is there only one? Okay. So, um, I still need that research though. And I still need those materials. So... Well, we got plenty of big projects now. Plasteel uh, being the biggest of those. Rubber joins. All right, good stuff. So, Rubber, you are a uh, very promising person. You are a Alpha One citizen right away. Also, um, I don't think I got a room for you, my friend. No. So we gotta build one more. One more apartment here. So there we go. Um, do I have enough tin? Yes, I do. Good. So uh, tin, small metal plates. Maybe I'll find them quicker today. Yay, I do. All right. Just for that unified look here in Alpha 1, you know. Okay, let's build another one of those. Another one of those. Oh, looks like we need a few more power cables here. Caffeine binge, yeah, whatever. You guys can do such binges if you really want to. I don't mind if it makes you folks happy. All right, quest expires in four hours. So, um, ah, that was this one, yeah. Not too interested at all. Okay, nice. All right, so, uh, Rubber, um, let's see, what kind of talents you got? Um, a pretty good social person, I do like that. And apart from that, a, a very good crafter, but uh, nothing else. Well, that's fine for me. So, you can go cleaning afterwards. Okay, so, uh, well. Also, uh, Rubber, you will receive a assault rifle, even if you're not be really able to work it uh, good, I don't care. So, um, let's see, torso scar, hmm. we can't really remove that with our technology though, my friend, I'm sorry. Okay, wow, that one is a, uh, masterwork, nice. So, uh, this one's for rubber. Okay, cool. For some odd reason, the, uh, they are uh, doing the um, <laughs> the floor way before the walls. Why? I don't know. Um, I bet this is uh, also victim of the no uh, roof plan. Yeah, just as just like I thought. Okay, so um, yeah, that room's finished. Real quick. So. Let's check those things out. Advanced alloy refining is officially a thing. So, uh, how to produce plasteel? Because obviously, I need more plasteel. Smelt plasteel. I'll need steel, titanium, silver, and chem fuel for that. Cool. Like, uh, seriously. Um, I'd say we just do that forever. Simple uh, thing. I got titanium right there. 
And, uh, yeah. Alex is on a fire starting spree. Okay, so Lumpy, you're able to do firefighting, yeah? You, you do know how that works? So, uh, you take care of Alex pro Alex's problems, okay? So, let's see. So far, Alex just uh, doesn't seem to find anything to set on fire, you know? Aww. Uh, now he's trying his luck with some walls. However, that's supposed to work, you know. All right, there we go. Um, Lumpy, you lazy. Uh, just uh, just smelt her some. There we go. Meanwhile, Sweet Pea discovered another uh, copper ore. Seam. Well. We definitely do have uh, no shortage of bras whatsoever. Okay, so my, my thought was just uh, if I'm not able to create the necessary plasteel uh, or mine the necessary plasteel myself, I'll just create it. I love those mods enabling me to uh, build or, uh, or craft those uh, high-tech materials because honestly, this is no simple recipe whatsoever. Like, uh, steel, uh, titanium, and silver, those are quite costly and valuable materials, and, uh, well, I dig it. I like that. Because, um, my favorite mods are those which enable me to, uh, create these costly materials without giving me the feeling that, uh, the, uh, the, the mechanic behind that is particularly broken or such. So, uh... I guess Lumpy's uh, crafting is not good enough to smelt your plus steel. Yes, that's the reason. Alright, Lumpy, uh, you don't need to star there, my friend. Okay. My guests from the Hot Dough Alliance. Why is Louis so unhappy, though? What's your problem, my friend? You're malnourished. Well. Ah, oh, well, okay, he is definitely not, uh, he's 91 years old. Nope. Not too surprised that he's uh, one unhappy old geezer. Okay, so, uh, did my slurry peats just get drunk? Yes, they did. Cheers, Agnes. <laughs> I sure don't mind my, uh, my, my slurry peats having a drink. Because why should I, you know? All right. So Alpha One is now a uh, a really really lovely place. What can I say? We got our own uh, medicine production. We got our own drug production. We're uh, very uh, close to creating our own uh, plasteel. I mean, come on, this uh, this is all quite cool. There. Let's see how much plasteel is being created out of one process here. I'm really, really uh, curious about that. So the process itself takes forever, and uh, we're receiving 30 plus steel out of one uh, refining process. Okay, so uh, considering the amount of uh, titanium available in my colony, I feel like uh, we're in a good spot here. So, uh, big bad mechanoid cluster. Psychic drones, mech assemblers, there's a mech capsule. Um, lots of turrets, mechanoid interface cell. Amplify the psychic abilities of mechanoid machines, I see. Proximity activators, mech drop beacon, so there's gonna be plenty of mechs once we uh, attack this one, but um... Uh, they got no uh, shields whatsoever, so uh, we gonna we gonna man the mortars and uh, fire away on them. So let's uh, let's go. So let's see. Set force targets. Just gonna destroy that thing right away, you know. It's the easiest way to deal with those threats. So, where's Freeman at? I love that sound when they fire. 
There we go. Well, let's see. Oh yeah. Two direct hits on that psychic burner. Awesome. So let's see. Um the rest of the party will be uh waiting here, I'd say. So it looks like the first of the uh um mechs is uh attacking directly. It's a very unusual behavior to say the least. But I don't mind at all. Ooh, nasties. So let's see. I don't think that fireworm will be able to uh, hit town in time. So um, let's see. Dismantling those machines is always the uh, easier way. So I'd say uh, my my council members can uh, leave this place now, because those uh, assemblers, well, let's see, they're going to need an entire day before they do their uh, magic. So um, what I'm going to need is uh, somebody armed with smoke. Let's see, where's my smoke? Um, flash grenades. Do I even have smoke? That's the big question there. If not, we're uh, we're forced to create some. But I was uh, pretty sure I had somebody armed with a smoke launcher. Here, yeah, recoil got that. So um, just like I thought, the uh, mechanoids had little to no chance to uh, actually um, attack us. The real big issue here will be uh, how to uh, get my people close to the uh, actual fortifications without dying to uh, random turret fire. So major break risk on a lot of people. Well, little do I care. So um, it looks like this is going to be uh, the uh, the mark of evil there. So, it's gonna be quite, uh, quite annoying, <laughs> so. All right, let's get in there. That's just how you do it, you know. And now recoil will uh, create uh, smoke screen after smoke screen to hide within. And then we're going to move forward through that all right, so um, looks like I'm able to uh, attack one of those uh, turrets right away. That's good. So, uh, well, Olsen. All right, definitely only the people with the uh, longer ranged weapons able to. I don't like that. So, uh, we continue. Ah, this is better. This is exactly what I wanted to hear. The happy twack 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 from your uh, assault rifles, you know. But uh, who's actually not in the smoke here? Who's attracting the uh, gunfire? Because uh, the really bad news here is uh, if somebody is not in the, in the turrets or in the smoke, the turrets can't fire again. That's just very, very risky, you know, as you notice here. So... I feel like uh, my, my smoke screen is uh, letting me down a bit. So, um... Oh, gosh. So I'm just sending in my animals now, because I'm tired of uh, waiting. It's also an easy way to get rid of a situation, just uh, send in the animals, you know. There we go. Because those slurry peats are really hard to kill, in general. And uh, therefore... 
we just uh do we just do it old school, you know. Though I gotta say I really dislike how this is going down. So um next time I'd definitely uh use um the um what's it called again? Uh the uh the mortars and uh, take uh, the mechanoids down that way because it's way safer to do it like that. What we're doing here was uh, very, very dangerous. So let's see, is anybody uh, dying? No, not at all. Great. All right, there we go. Just don't feel like this is a uh an easy way of taking it down. My, uh... My mortars would have cost me some uh, resources to begin with, but, uh... Well, this is, uh, not for free either, so... I don't know. So, uh, TLDR, when you're, uh... When, when there's too many enemies, um, your uh, smoke screener smoke screening becomes hotter and hotter. All right, so Olson, um, we gotta arrest you at some point. Oh man, so uh, let's see. Tantrum on sweet pea. All right. Looks like we have to uh, assign a few uh, a few hand treatments. My slurry peats are in no danger whatsoever. So good old Os Olsen is uh, going to bleed down at some point. Leo still needing a uh, treatment there. Okay. So somebody already patched up Olson? No. So, but at least I'm able to tend now. That's good. All right, that's that. So my guests left me beer, chicken follow wool, hyper weaver leather, mega sloth wool, and uh, garnet. Nice. It's a lot of materials here. So we're chopping up those mechs. Also not uh, not too bad, and uh, let's deconstruct those proximity activators. So well, forty-five plus steel after all, not too bad, not too bad. Don't want to talk bad about that, you know. So let's uh, put the uh, metal smelting uh, job back up. All right. Quite relieved that uh, we had no uh, mortal casualties here in that situation there. Somehow I uh, really was afraid that that, that this uh, might be happening. Shack of valuables. Cooking skill trainer. Thanks, but no thanks. Yo, Lumpy, you're uh, again... You again don't know what to do. There's plenty of things to do, my friend. All right, so uh, with that amount of plasteel available and that amount of advanced components available, we're going to uh, design a few things in the next episode. Like, uh, I'm going to um, work on the first uh, spaceship designs, but I'm going to uh, design around uh, off camera a bit. And uh, then I'm going to talk with you about uh, how things will work out because I feel like that's going to be way more fun than just uh, dawdling around here and being like, what am I doing? I don't like that. 
just not my style. Okay, so uh, the cloth is not yet uh, finished here, but it's uh, just a matter of a few, uh, few percent to grow. Nice. Really happy about this uh, rubber person. Livestock wranglers. Mm, let's check that out. So uh, this is uh, 12 people now. Saiki Bingjun Ryo. <laughs> you do you. That's okay. All right, so uh, the Wild Ibis Securities, they're actually willing to buy my rats. Oh. That grown worker and pebble mitts. Oh man, if it would have been a boulder mitt, I would have, I would have been a taker. <laughs> iron, no, I'm not going to buy iron husk beetles. That's just... Uh... Definitely nothing I want to see here. Um, fertilized eggs, cobra, night ave, tortoise, ostrich, desert ave, uh, nothing too appealing here either. Oh man, I'm gonna sell those rose petals though. I don't want them, I don't need them. Apart from that, um, these guys are buying. But I don't want to sell my food at this point, honestly. Okay. Just a small amount of items then. Um, let's. Yay! Advanced chip sensors! Nice. Like, seriously. Okay. So, um. I want to research a bit, uh, armor next because I feel, uh. I feel a little bit scared about these, uh, future, um, combat situations. And I feel also like with the amount of items I have uh, researched so far, um, I should be able to whip up a really, really nice uh, spaceship without any problems. So we're gonna get there. Long story short, we're gonna get there. Okay. So, uh, wow. Lots of people in breakdowns again. <laughs> But, uh, well. Hey, Ryo's a little bit overdosing here. And, uh, oh gosh. So, um, okay. We got uh, an insect spaceship chunk. But I'm going to handle that during the next episode, my friends. Because uh, I can already tell that uh, this is going to take a tad bit longer than just uh, two minutes. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. We're going to sweep out those bugs next episode. I'm already, um, I'm so happy that they do, do this, like, uh, I'm going to be able to split them off, uh, like, those three first, I'm going to kite them down there, and the other guys, it's gonna be easy, I hope. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching, friends, and I hope you enjoyed your ride as well, hope you're going to join me again soon, until then, take care, and goodbye.